Hey everybody, in this video what we're going to do is we're going to go over the switch settings that allow dot one x and this switch is a just a Cisco virtual switch. Let's log in here. We're using TACAX. So I'm using TACAX to my AD and you can see that's, I have another video series where we go over that. If you could, please subscribe. So let's enable this test. Okay, so now I'm in here. So let's just show run and I'll show you the setup. So you want to use AAA new model and this is the TACAX group. We don't worry about that, but what you do have to set up for, for dot one X is this line, Whoops. this line dot one X group radius, default group radius, the authorization network default group radius, and this dot one X. So those are the three lines here and a AAA server radius dynamic author, and that's our client server key, Aruba123. You can see that that port 3799, auth type all. And dot one X system auth control has to be in there. And on the actual interface, which in this case would be E11, let me just show you that. Show interface E, show interface run. What am I doing? Show run interface E1 slash one. So this is the setup for dot one X authentication order. Mac, uh, Mac authentication bypass first and then dot one X. So if it hit Mab first, but the priority here, hmm, that's interesting. So Mab and then dot one X. So authentication priority is dot one X and then Mab authentication port protocol is auto. Authentication is periodic. Timer, reauthenticate server. And then that enables MAB, MAC authentication bypass, which I will do a video on that and how that works for wired dot one X. And you're gonna need that because if you enable this on a on a on a switch on everything, you're gonna have printers something and other items that don't have a supplicant and you're going to have to authenticate those in some way and that the best way to do that or the easiest way to do that is using a a mac group you just set up the macs in a database on clearpass and it authenticates those uh, you have dot one x pae authenticator timeouts set up here and max request and max reauth request and we have spanning tree port fast edge enabled on this since it's a end user device so that's the configuration there um, let me just go through i think we also have some radius server attributes right here And radius server CPPM, address IPv4, and then the key. So that is how on the switch it needs to be set up to pass on the authentication. Okay, so let's take a look now at what is what's going on if it's connecting to the switch. Let's go back to clear pass. So the best way to do this is to go into monitoring. 
access tracker. And what we can see here is these are my tag acts logins when I logged into the switch. Let's take a look at this one. This one is saying authentication method EEP. So it's not using EEP TLS. Let's see why not. So what we're going to do at this point is I'm going to come back in the next video and we're going to start troubleshooting why this is not working. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.